Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating date and time differences using SPSS. So I have fictitious data loaded in the data view here in SPSS. I have 20 participants, an ID number for each of them, and 20 pretest scores, and a variable named pretest time that has the dates when the pretest score was collected. And then let's assume that for this post-test score, all these post-test scores were collected on the same day. And we want to make that date equal to today. And then we want to calculate the number of days that elapsed between the date that the pretest was administered and today. So first we need to create the date for today and a new variable. We'll go to transform, compute variable, and let's just call this one post test, this variable, post test time. And then we'll go to current date time here under the function group and choose dollar sign time. We'll double click that and this will return the current date and time, but we can format it as we need to. So you can see this is what we have by default, but if we go into the variable view, we can see that post test time, the type, the default type is numeric, so we want to change that. And we're going to make it a date, and when you select this radio button for date, you get all these different formatting options. Here's the uh, month, day, year, minutes, and seconds. So let's just go with um, the month as two digits, the date, the day as two digits, and the year as four digits. Let's go with that. Click OK. If we go back to the data view, we can see that all the post-test times are now populated with today's date. If you want a more precise time in this variable, just go to the variable view and you can select, let's say, the date, hours, minutes, and seconds. Let's go with this one. And just move back to data view and you get more, a more specific time. In this case, right down to the seconds. But for our purposes, the date will do the one we had before, just uh, month, day, and year. So just go back up to that and select it and click OK. So now we want to create a new variable that calculates the number of days from the pretest to the post test. So we'll go back to transform and compute variable. And you can see by, de by default it leaves in the calculation I made before, which is the one that created the post-test time variable. So I'm going to change this uh, target variable name to days, because I'm going to be calculating the number of days. And I'll delete the dollar sign time expression, and then go to date arithmetic under the function group and I want date difference date DIFF and double click that and you can see this accepts three arguments the first argument uh, in this case will be today's date which will be the post test time so I'll put that in the second argument uh, in our case will be the pretest time And then for the third argument, notice it's in quotes. If you move down to the bottom of this description, you can see there's a set of strings that are acceptable as arguments. Uh, and it's years, quarters, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So in our case, we want days. It does need to be in quotation marks. So now this function is ready to run. Click OK. 
and we can see the number of days between the pretest and post test is displayed. Now, taking a look at that compute variable uh, numeric expression again, notice I put the post test time first, then the pretest time. If I had moved the pretest time into the first argument and the post test in the second, it would return a negative number. So the order in which these arguments are placed in the numeric expression is important. So let's say that now I want to create a new variable to use another one of these arguments. Let's say uh, the number of hours. We could just keep this the same and change days to hours. And then go over here and inside the quotation marks, type hours and then click OK, and it'll return the number of hours here in this variable. I hope you found this video on calculating date and time differences in SPSS to be useful. And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.